Hey YouTube, it's your girl Diva Dimples again. I wanted to do a part two. I got off so fast I forgot a whole bag on the floor. But I just wanted to show you some other things that I incorporate in my diet. For you guys beginning out there, this is going to be a lifesaver. This is chicken noodle under it, um, protein. And it got me through the first couple of weeks. Um, you really want to, it's kind of, I don't know, I forgot about the price. But um, this is what got me really through. And every now and then I make some soup out of that. Especially when my stomach is not feeling right. And I um, make a soup out of that. Um, crystal light as always. The tea is my favorite. And the raspberry lemonade. Try to get some vegetables in there any kind of way. And I buy V8 low sodium. Um, since it's kind of cool now. Um, I got this from I think. One of those. Andre, one of those weight loss places. I don't know from my doctor. It's high cocoa, but it's full of protein and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And as you can see, my doctor's website is on there, whyweight.com. I think I got it from my doctor's office because I like hot chocolate. Um, I drink tea, so as you can see here, I get black tea. I love black tea. And I tried this new almond chai tea, which was really pretty good, um, especially when it's cold. And it, I found that, it, you know, our stomach make these noises at times. And I find that this soothes my stomach and make it feel okay. Like I said again, I love beans. So my, I'm on this black bean kick. I put fresh garlic, onions in them and eat them with a side of meat or something like that. But I never used to like black beans, but I love black beans. Of course, I have my ever faithful tuna. I use crab meat. And what I do with this, I actually put it on the top of a salad. Things of that nature. Peanut butter. This is like the secret of all secrets. It's like when you're hungry or when you're feeling you want some protein, slap this on anything. Celery, a cracker, slap it on your finger. I love it. And I try to get anything that's low sodium, all natural. Love beans again. Bush beans. I just get the regular because I like that. And every now and then when I want a soup, I love homemade soup, but I just don't have time all the time. So I get this Progresso Reduced Sodium. And these are the bars I like. And it may not be the best in calorie counting, but I love these because they give you 10 grams of uh, protein. And it's by Nature Valley. And they're pretty good. Um, and I get I get these from Walmart. Some different other bars have 19 grams of protein. They taste pretty good. I think this one is um, strawberry shortcake, the Mojo bars. This is the milk that I was telling you guys about. It's calorie countdown hood milk. It's only 8 calories per serving. And um, I mix this with the EAS protein chocolate um, protein powder in the morning. Um, and I have a glass of that. And sometimes I do it for lunch. But that's the milk that I was talking about. I think I said it on one of my videos. But I could. But this is the Hood Calorie Countdown. Um, and I mix the chocolate milk with the chocolate protein powder. And it is yummy. It tastes like a Wendy's uh, smoothie or shake or something. And I love silk milk, vanilla. Um, sometimes I get the plain, but hey, it may not be a lot in calories, but you try to cut as much as you can, and I can't really drink. Oh, another thing. Oh, let me put this. I got this on to the side. When I do make my little wraps in the morning, I try to get the carb conscious, because I, I hate corn tortillas, and this may be a strong word to say hate, but I just don't like them, but I, oh, I love the flour ones, and I get the carb balance by mission. Um, they're pretty good, and I probably can't even get a whole one. I cut it in half and make little wraps. Um, for lunch and things of that nature. But I just wanted to give y'all a, a little idea of some more food that I eat. Um, if I can find some more around here, I'll let you know. Alright, bye-bye.